Well, boys, today's the day I've been waiting for. Finally gonna go get the cartoon on E85. I got all my jugs. The only thing that Soho's gonna have to do is, uh, this might be dark for you guys to see, but the little pillar that goes here, I'm gonna have them wire it. I didn't wanna take a chance with it because if I fuck it up, then it was gonna cost me more money in order to buy a brand new ECU. right here we got some more in the back we on the way so i was supposed to put my diff in before i get go get tuned and i was going to i order an upgraded diff from z1 motorsport but then ups lost my bearings and i had to file a claim and had to wait for all of that to go through so the diff is probably going to be uh i don't know within a week or two before all my parts get here and i and i do that so kind of blows but i mean it's okay i guess but yeah so i'm not gonna have the upgraded diff right now unfortunately still an open diff but come probably not this weekend the following weekend i'll put the new diff in bro it's been a such such a long time coming to freaking get the car in e85 for the last two years two and a half years that i got the shit boosted i've been like dying to go e but then you know life happens and stuff this is a big accomplishment for me especially since i was able to install this looking at instructions and asking some questions to you know a couple friends but i'm super excited to see what the car does and not be able to enjoy it yes um my tuner has always been soho been knowing them for a very long time and they always do great work you know there's always those people that talk bad about them but it is what it is you know you get what you pay for so and thank God, knocking on the Z right here, this shit has never left me stranded because of tuning issues. So, you know, and they always work with you, so I can't, I mean, I can't stress that enough. You get what you pay for. So make sure you do your research and don't go by the clout or whatever, this and that, you know. So just enjoy your car, man. This shit's crazy and annoying to see all the time how much people talk shit about each other instead of like enjoying a platform and try to help each other like you know be better but yeah we almost there so it's about to be lit gonna get some good content for you guys i'm hoping this shit breaks a 700 because that'll be a great fucking thumbnail title for the video you know good old zeddy over here gonna do me right today oh yeah i'm also married now <laughs> it's pretty awesome so we made it to nissan heaven or best nissan place in the world my biggest fear didn't happen, which was leaking through here. From here and then the one right there where I made the return. But yeah, the car looks good, baby. They just gotta install the... They gotta install this shit right here. The gauge, they just gotta wire everything to the ECU. I don't feel confident enough to do it myself, so... Gonna let them handle it. so crazy i hope you guys enjoy this damn video they still uh he's still dialing in the, the regular pump gas on 93 because that's what we get down here it made 567 427 torque that's not bad for pump gas numbers <clears throat> we haven't added any e on there yet so the car's doing really good i'm excited to see what the e85 does because i've been stuck at 630 for <laughs> for two years not stuck enjoying 
What do you mean now? He's about to eat. All right, boys. So you guys just saw Nick. He was putting in the E. We're about to get ripping on it. So it made like 570, you know, on pump. And he was telling me because I got such a big tire right now on the dyno, you know, it takes more mass in order to rotate the dyno. So it might read a little lower so than the actual number, but that's okay. The car is ripping though. It's just moving quick. <laughs> Mickey's, you're gonna lose some power obviously because there's more mass for the dyno to move. That's why they recommend you come with like regular tires. I completely forgot to ask somebody to lend me some tires, a friend of mine. Um, and then I still got the open diff. So the open diff, if the car is making 630, he says you lose about 5%. So that'll be like 30 wheel that I'm losing right there just because I got an open diff. So once I put this LSD, this car's about to be crazy. Just need freaking the stuff to get there. I got lost on UPS. I did everything great with Z1. They handled it great. Great customer service. And then UPS fucked me over. So I'm just waiting for that to pull up. And then probably next week, I'll take the diff out and bring it so they could do it. So I'm already happy. So anything extra now is just even better. You know what I mean? So it was already worth it. Tucking was crazy. Let's go check it out. Bro, this is one bad car, bro. Oh man, I'm so fucking excited and stoked about it. God, I can't wait to test drive it. It's gonna be sick.
That shit is sick. Oh my god. So good. <laughs> Bro, wow. Damn, sick as hell. Nick, sir, thank you. <laughs> you see now, I said back to back, that was back to back. So yeah. Know, but it's consistent, like, dude, what? I mean, was it he saw me too, like that? That is sick. Badass, 660 and 500 torque on E50, right? Yeah, so yeah, your best one is going to be, this is the one we're over boosted, it will be this one right here, 652, 495. Yo. So there it is, guys. Look how beautiful that graph is. Literally looks like a fucking supercharger. And then it hits like hard as fuck up top. That's badass. Bro, this shit was tucking all the way up to down here. That wheel was going in up to the ladder. <laughs> oh man, this car fucks. Fuck yeah, I couldn't be happier. This is sick. We're about to go for a test drive and see what this thing feels like.
Oh, are you? <laughs> How you doing? So guys, there she is. May 650, 660, somewhere around there, and 500 pounds of torque. The car is done, and that was at E50. We couldn't get the content any higher because my car already had a half a tank of gas of 93. This thing is gonna eat once I'm able to get higher E content and once I put the LSD in it. Because right now, dynoing it with the bigger tires and being that I have an open diff, the car is losing like, like 40, 40 to 45 horsepower. So once I get that situated, then it should be all right. But yeah, the car is good, ran great. I'm excited that I was able to do this. And I hope you guys enjoy all the freaking pools that I, they, the Nick was able to do on the car. Shit was crazy. Oh.